Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. I want to share with you an entry that I received for my I Made It Challenge. This particular entry is from Tina, who is Happy Mail here on YouTube. But before I show Tina's entry, I just wanted to show another item that was part of an entry that I already filmed. And for whatever reason, I think this one just, um, it got separated from that package that I filmed. But I know this was for sure part of that package. It was an entry by uh, Linda Wittenberg, who I think is Dayton's grandma here on YouTube. She also included this beautiful wand with this awesome um, lace flower and the bling in the center. This wand is absolutely gorgeous. And um, realized I didn't film it and felt bad because it's a beautiful wand and I do want to share it. And I also want to uh, want Linda to know that I did receive it and absolutely giving you credit for this entry. It's gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. So I wanted to share that um, with you and also to let Linda know that I did receive it. As I started saying in the beginning of this video, the entry that I'm going to show you now is from Tina who is Happy Mail here on YouTube. She sent in two super cute, so fun um, wands, straw, the um, paper wands, and an awesome tag. Let me go ahead and share it with you. Isn't this beautiful? It is gorgeous girls. I love all of this eyelash trim. It is so fun. The colors are beautiful. Look at her little image. This one I think is called the Mad Hatter. If I remember correctly, it's one of my favorite ones. I love, love, love it. And these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Everything, look, she even put bling at the bottom of the straw. How beautiful is that? It's that little detail to me that says a lot about the type of crafter that Tina is. I love attention to detail like that. This is beautiful. Thank you so, so much, Tina. She sent not one, but two wands. Here's her second one. And look at this. This is so fun. And I love the sparkle. Do you see the sparkle on her image? Beautiful. So cute. This, look at the bows. It's just beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. Look at all the fun trims on it. This trim is so much fun, Tina. I would love to know where you get this trim from. And her straws. Your straws are so much fun, too. I would love to know where you get them from as well. Oh, my gosh. This is just too cute. So I'm finding that a lot of the entries that I'm receiving are wands, which is awesome. So it has kind of inspired me to try to create um, some type of display here on my craft room. My craft room is going through a bit of a transition right now. Um, the walls, I emptied a lot of the walls or removed a lot of my picture frames from the walls because my intention is to add more shelves so that I have more storage. But I think I'm going to leave one section. There's this one section of the wall. It's, it's a nice size section. Maybe create some type of display for these wands because they are too beautiful not to display. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I want to, I want them to be out where I can see them and be inspired. So if anyone has any ideas of, of wand <laughs> type um, displays, let me know. I'm going to start doing some searches on Pinterest and here on YouTube and see what other people have done. Something other than storing them in a vi vase type uh, deal, which is where I have most of my wands now. I'd like to do something a little, I don't know, a little more creative, a little different. So I'm definitely going to start looking into that. If you have any ideas, let me know. Here is a beautiful tag that Tina made. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Simply gorgeous. I love this eyelash trim. <laughs> it is so perfect. And this tag is perfect. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. So thank you so, so much, Tina, for this awesome, awesome entry. I truly do appreciate it. And I wish you the best of luck in my drawing, my friend. Until next time. Bye-bye.